video sponsored by Skylum, the creators of Luminar Neo. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today, I'm gonna to be walking you through my current photo editing workflow using Luminar Neo, the sponsors of today's video. A program that I genuinely have been using on the majority of my images over the last couple of months now that I personally feel not only enhance my images, but take them to the next level. Now, for somebody who isn't particularly computer savvy, say, especially when it comes to programs like Photoshop, it's almost like this genius tool has been designed to do the things that would literally take you years to learn in Photoshop, but be able to do them on there within a click of a button. Anyway, let's jump on in and we'll have a look at how I'm using it to enhance my edits and uh, yeah, give them that extra little bit of spice. So there's a couple of ways that you can use Luminar Neo to edit your images. You can edit your images from scratch in there, but I'm actually using it as a plugin to Lightroom. I've got my presets all over in Lightroom, so I'm applying a preset, basic adjustments, and then I'm sending it over to Luminar Neo. If we come up here, and then we edit in Luminar Neo. Here's an image of this beautiful little house in this incredible landscape from Lofoten in Norway. Absolute house goals in my opinion, but there's quite a few distractions in this scene. Now you can see the major one, it's that power line that is hanging over the mountains. Like it just doesn't belong to be there in this picturesque landscape. So we're gonna get rid of that. Now we'll come over here to the essential tools and click arrays. And instead of like other programs where I would have to like manually trace that line over for it to, to be removed, if we come down here to the objects removal, there is a remove power line feature already set up in Luminar Neo. And it's done a pretty good job. Now there's a little bit left on the top of this mountain up here, but it brings me on perfectly to what I wanted to show you next. Now we'll come back over to arrays. I'm gonna just make that a little bit smaller. We'll zoom in and we'll get this manually. Now, unlike other softwares where you have to do all the distractions that you want to remove individually on here you can select them all at once so it saves me doing them all individually which takes obviously way more time click arrays there we go just like that i have removed the power line and the distractions that i wanted to remove in in this image in a couple of clicks, in a matter of seconds, less than a minute. So I've got rid of the distractions and I'm gonna head back over to the tool tab and then scroll down to creative and click on mystical. Now, I love this tool. I use this on probably all of my images, um, at least 90% of my images. It basically, I'll show you in a sec, but it creates this sort of soft look to your image it adds contrast but it doesn't go like too overboard obviously you can go overboard with it but um yeah if you dial it in right it just creates this lovely lovely look to your image and like i say i'm probably using it on if not all of my images at least 95 percent of them so we'll come over here and let's have a look Let's bring that in around 28. So I've added the amount of 28 and we'll just look at before and after. There's the before, there's the after. Already, I personally feel like that looks considerably better. Um, then you can come below and you can affect the shadows. So you can raise the shadows or bring the shadows down. Kind of looks all right. Maybe I'll just darken the shadows and take that out of the shadows a little bit. And then the smoothness, you can either go up or you can decrease it. Now I'm gonna take it back a little bit. Probably to about 50, 45, let's have a look. Okay, let's have a look at the before and after. There's the before, there's the after. 
like I say, I think that personally looks way better than how we did when we brought it into this. You can also come down to colorize and you can affect the sort of mystical in the saturation and the highlights, but I never really mess around with that too much. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Now, another reason why I love Luminar Neo is that you have the ability to save your edits as presets so you don't have to come in every time and play around with the sliders. So for instance, Mystical, like I say, I'm using that on like 90, 95% of my images. I can literally save the mystical part of this edit as a preset and then come in at a later time, click on my presets and I've got mystical saved with exactly the same values as what I had I've just applied. So instead of me having to come in and change the sliders, I can just go to my presets, click mystical, and it will apply those values that I pretty much use, you know, on all of my images. If not, it gives me a better starting base than, you know, everything starting at zero. So another really cool factor to streamline my workflow and just make things even quicker. So we'll just have a look at the whole before and after. So there's the before with the distractions and no mystical. And there's the after, before, after. I personally think, yeah, I've said it three times now, it looks considerably better. Now, if you wanted to get rid of any of your edits, you can come up here to where it says edits and you can see the two edits that I've made, mystical and arrays. If I wanted to get rid of them, or if I just wanted to see the before and afters of just that edit, then I can. So I can come in here and if I press this back one twice, that will delete the mystical. So there's no more mystical on that. And I'm gonna delete that just for the purpose of showing you another tool that I think a lot of people will actually like. So if we come back over to the tools tab on the side here, scroll back down to creative and click on glow. Glow is another interesting tool. If we come over here to where it says soft focus and we open it up, you greeted with four options now. I'm sure we have all heard of this guy here, the Orton effect. Now, when I started out my photography journey, everybody and their dog was doing this to their images. It was like the thing to apply to your image. I prefer to use mystical over the Orton effect in my images now, but um, if this is your thing, I'll show you how good it is. For those of you that are unaware what the Orton effect is, essentially, it's a technique where you blend two versions of the same image and you blur one version, sharpen one version and yeah, blend them in Photoshop to create this sort of like dreamy halation look. Very similar to mystical, but mystical just is way more subtle in my opinion than the Orton effect. But like I say, if this is your thing, the geniuses over here at Luminar Neo have somehow managed to create something that used to take quite some time in Photoshop to do. And they've managed to be able to do it within the click of a button. So we'll click on Orton effect and then we can change the amount. How much do we want? Obviously we don't want a hundred percent. You want it quite subtle. Let's say 10. We'll have a look at the before and after. There's the before, there's the after. Looks way better, right? And then you've obviously got other options just as in mystical. You can change the softness, the brightness, the contrast and the warmth. Like I say, not really my thing, but if it's yours, I mean, how much time is this going to save you? So this next tool has saved me on several occasions now. Here we have an image that I shot in Hanoi, Vietnam a couple of weeks back. And I love everything about this image. You've got this gentleman in the background there digging up the street, framed between this bridge arch. And then this chaoticness of the stall to the right hand side. I was looking on the back of the camera after I shot it thinking, yes, super stoked with that shot. Only to realize that when I got back to my hotel, uploaded it to the laptop, he's not in focus. The main subject of this image is out of focus. I don't know what happened, whether it was me or the camera just latched onto something else, but 
The main subject of this image is out of focus, meaning it's not really usable. But hopefully, this is where Lumina Neo and Super Sharp AI can come to my rescue once again. Effectively, Super Sharp AI will rescue details within an image where there's a soft part of an image. It works particularly well if you're shooting handheld at lower shutter speeds and you've got a bit of motion blur and stuff. It can really bring back the detail in the image to, I guess, yeah, bring some sharpness back and make it look like it's in focus. Now, obviously it's never gonna bring back the focus because that's near impossible, but what it will do, hopefully, is bring back some detail into the image to technically make it look like it's in focus. So. Let's come over here to the Tools tab. We'll select Super Sharp. Now, another reason why I love using Lumina Neo is the fact that I can use the tools within masks. I don't want to affect the whole image here. I just want to affect the gentleman in the background. So I'm going to isolate him with a radial gradient. Just like that. Come back to adjustments and then you've got two options universal and motion blur like i just said now there's not much motion blur in this it's more just softness where he's out of focus so we we'll use universal and you've got three options low middle and high so we'll start with low i mean it's done a pretty good job if i'd have seen that sort of sharpness within the image when I realized it was out of focus. I, well, I would never have realized it was out of focus because it's taken the softness out of that part of the image. Let's have a look at the before and after. Before, after. You've only got to look at his hat and his stick. Before, after. Done an amazing job. Like, it, he looks like he's in focus. Let's just have a look at middle. Yeah, middle's doing a much better job. Look at the before look at the after so there you go another tool that has absolutely changed the game super sharp ai so there we go as you can see luminon neo has been my absolute go-to tool over the last couple of months for not only creatively enhancing my edits but saving them as well as you can see it's super streamlined and efficient and you can dramatically change your edits for the better within just a few clicks of your mouse. I think the ability to save those edits and tools as presets as well is absolutely game changing. For somebody like myself, it just simplifies things and that is the main thing. To save me from not going through a million steps to get the results I want, I can do it within just a few clicks. Another thing I love about Lumina Neo is that it is just a one-off lifetime payment. Unlike any other software where you're paying monthly or annually, you pay a one-off fee and you've got the program for the rest of your days. So if you're interested in trying out Lumina Neo or Lumina Mobile, their mobile app, then I'll leave a couple of links in the description below as well as a discount code that will give you an extra 15% off. So once again, thanks to Skyland for sponsoring this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it beneficial. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.